folks, welcome to another walk with Harvey and look who's back, Rosie. Oh, hi, <laughs> <laughs> We're both on a bit of a health kick and it's not a New Year's re resolution because it's February already, so <laughs> Rosie's cutting down on sugar and we're both trying to get a bit more exercise. I mean, I get a lot of exercise out in the hills and stuff, but in terms of aerobic stuff, I'm not doing a lot. I probably need to do more sort of weight stuff as well. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's the plan anyway. But uh, this uh, video, um, I noticed checking on the map of Strangford Lock and the All Trails app, there's a few small walks that aren't enough to put on one video, but I thought I'd try and combine a few of these walks into one video. So um, this first one is called Rough Island. I'd never heard of it before. It's quite close to Comba. It's one of these uh, causeways that disappears uh, when it's when it's high tide. I didn't know uh, Northern Ireland had any of them, so uh, this will be quite interesting. I'm hoping it's low enough tide that we can get across. And so back. and back again. <laughs> But yeah, there's a few of these really short walks. I've, I've done one on the channel before, Gibbs Island, I'll put a link to that. But there's a couple of these where there's little bits that jut out onto Strangford Lock. One down at uh, Daft Eddie's is the pub called. Yeah. Daft Eddie's, there's meant to be a walk around there and it's a great pub as well. So we'll probably include that one and there may be another one as well. But yeah, this is the, the first one we're doing. So uh, let's go and check it out. Speak to you in a wee bit. Now it said on the uh, notice board there was a totem bowl to celebrate Comba's links with Canada. I didn't realise Comba had any links with Canada. I didn't bring you all the usual mic out so the wind's probably too rough for this but uh yeah, you can see the causeway down here from here, so I don't think we're going to get caught, Rosie. <laughs> Thank you. 
was a bit crazy there. Just as we got to the start of the causeway, the weather just took a mad turn for the worst and we got drenched by the rain. I literally at And the we end. thought the, the water was gonna start coming over the causeway then. But uh, yeah, I think luckily. It's coming in. Yeah, I think you can see the clouds blowing over there, can you? It must have been just, just a quick shower that we got caught in because we've got blue skies towards Scrabo again. That was a, uh, more like a hurricane. Not a, that not was a... mental. <laughs> that I'm could have been stopped. that could have been an exciting end to the video there. <laughs> Getting caught out on the causeway. My legs feel a bit uh, Damn. numb. Is my face in front of her? Is my face red? <laughs> yes, a little bit. Well, there be. Okay, we're back at the car. So yeah, that was very short. It's only just over a mile and we're out for about 40 minutes. And as you saw, we got a bit wet coming back over the causeway. So yeah, it wasn't high tide or anything. The wind just suddenly picked up and like drenched us. And by the time we got to the causeway, it had stopped again. So I don't know what was going on there. But yeah, I was amazed to find out that Northern Ireland has got one of these causeways that disappears at high tide. So that's made my weekend. So. Uh, yeah, I'll not finish the video here. As I said, there's a couple of walks like this down the rest of Strangford Lock. So I'm going to try and discover a couple more before I put this one together. So keep watching. We're just on Sketrick Island now, which is where Daft Eddie's is. No more walking today because we're drenched, but I'm just uh, checking it out for the next time come down and do the walk. But I think we're going to go and get a coffee here. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe we should watch tonight. Okay, so we're on to our next island, Skerrick Island, which is where Daft Eddie's pub and We Eddie's Cafe is located, where me and Rosie were at the end of the last bit of the video. So yeah, this is another short island walk, and um, yeah, it's just, uh, hopefully we'll get this done before it goes dark. We should do, because it's only a short walk, but yeah, I've just come straight after work here, so uh, got the drone out quickly for a few sunset shots. Uh, before we got Harvey out of the car so he wouldn't be yapping away so uh yeah let's uh let's get going before before we lose the light
Okay, so just looking at the wee map on the old trails uh, up, I think we can go either way here. There's an entrance into the field with a disclaimer sign on it. But uh, yeah, I think we'll go round this way and come back that way. Here. One goes up there, I'm assuming this way. This just brings us down to the wee bit of a beach. I'm having nosy anyway, what do you reckon, Harvey? You see the flow of the tide there, going both directions. But it's a bit weird. Let's go down, Harvey, shall we? Can you jump down that far? Can I jump down that far? Go! Hup. I'm wondering, is that island over there accessible as well? Anyway, Harvey, better not dawdle. Come on, let's back on the path. What these wee fences with like camouflage stuff on them are. There's a few of them on the way down here. Maybe the hides or something. There's a bird box there. I think I mentioned on an earlier video that you can camp on some of the islands in Strangford Lock. I think there's one called Salt Island that has a body on it. So now that me and Rosie have bought a paddle board, that might be a, a trip to do in the summer. I'm not sure if that's it over there. There's a house on that one anyway. I think somebody told me it was a 99 islands. There's uh, path splits a bit here, but I think if I can remember from looking at the app, I think you can get just up here a wee bit and then you have to come back on yourself. Yeah, it's just a wee bit that juts out, probably to give you a view and then back down towards Daft Eddies. I always forget, is it Daft Eddies, Fat Eddies? I think it's Daft Eddies. <laughs> Oh, this is a private road where all these houses are on. What a place to live. Until the sea levels rise. Look at that house on that island over there as well. There's people swimming and just uh, around the corner there when I was driving down. Yeah, so uh, finishes off at this wee uh, bit here. views on all the posh people's houses. Well, maybe if we ever win the lottery, Harvey. What do you reckon? Private walkway contributions to upkeep one pound per adult. Any excess to NLI, I would do, except <laughs> the box is completely disintegrated. I don't think it's uh, been emptied anytime soon. I'll maybe give some money to our NLI when I get home online.
Okay, that's us back at the car. So that was just a mile and 26 minutes. So yeah, we're back at uh, Daft Daddy's. Uh, at the end of the last walk, we went for a wee coffee and vegan sausage roll in Wee Eddie's Cafe. Uh, but uh, yeah, the cafe's closed now. I don't think it's a good idea for to go for a pint when Rosie's expecting me home and make dinner. <laughs> so I better head on shortly. But yeah, it's good to do these uh, short walks. There's always a good reason to have a walk, especially when you've, when you've got a dog like Harvey who needs walking every day. You have to get out. But uh, yeah, you should get out, even if you're not getting a dog. Even if it's on your way home from work, going somewhere like this, just fitting a short walk in, it, it does you the world of good just to get out every single day. So that's what I always try and do. So yeah, that's the second one done. So I need to uh, find another island walk to do to add to this video. We'll probably have three or four on, I'd imagine. So if I can't find another one, we'll go and do Gibbs Island again anyway. But yeah, keep watching. Speak to you in a bit. Right, we're on the next island of our selection of islands that we're doing on Strangford Lock. Rose is here again. Hi. Amelia's in the back as she's sleeping and Harvey's in the back as well. So we're at Nundrum Ecclesiastical Site. What's the name of the castle around the corner? Let me just double check that. Should have got glasses. Mahi Castle? Did you know that, Rosie? Mahi, no, I didn't. That Mahi. Right. So yeah, fantastic drive down here, but very frustrating because when we got here, the sun is just setting. <laughs> Guess who brought the drone but left the batteries charging in the house? So yeah, I'm gonna have to find another day to come down and do some drone shots because it, yeah, it'd be it'd be great to get some shots down here. But anyway, we're gonna do the walk this time, and uh, I'll, I'll cut in the drone shots at a later date. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wake up Amelia here, get Harvey out. I'm not even sure there's much of a walk here. It might just be uh, a walk around the wee. Uh, historical site here and down to the castle so uh, yeah we'll, we'll go as far as we can anyway right let's get going might be somebody's house so we're gonna cut onto the grass here will we Rosie? Or maybe it's a, a visit center we better cut straight up here. It's a toilet proper not uh -huh. no dogs allowed in toilet <laughs> in bathrooms. Not these kind of bathrooms. Oh, it does look like a like a visitor centre. Now, 
as I thought, there's probably not much of a walk here. I think you can only get to the edge of this field, and the rest of it seems to be privately owned. Wait, um, look! That must be where the princess lives. It's a tower, and they are the stars. Yeah. The princess in it. So this is what the tower would have looked like originally. That's the one that survived in down in Loch Erne. We must go and visit look, that at some point. They climb up in the window and wake up and then there and there and there. Uh huh. Oh my God! Wow. Bell House, it's called. And what, Imagine hearing the bell from the top of that all across the island. What does that say? An iron hand bell with copper alloy coating. Oh, that's the back of the tower. Come on in, come on, say hello. We're coming in for our tea. There's no one in. Only us in. He's only us in. Don't be climbing anymore. Okay. It says, in loving memory of Margaret Oliver and Ari Doak. like this. Princess. Princess. Oh. What's that? What's That's where they keep the naughty rocks in a cage. That was uh, only a, less than a mile, probably about three quarters of a mile, and we're only out for about half an hour. So yeah, there's not a big walk to do down here. Looking behind us, there's a whole bit of the, this uh, island that's not accessible. It's all privately owned, lucky them. <laughs> Unlucky us. But yeah, they could probably make more of this in terms of uh, even if that field between the then drum site and the castle even if they, they, you know, they had some sort of track laid down there that weaved in and under, 
and in and out a bit. You could probably make more, more of a walk, but uh, yeah. But yeah, it's worth coming to see anyway, I think. But yeah, get back down here with the drone. And uh, yeah, keep watching. There's going to be another island that we can find one to walk. So at least have three or maybe four islands that you can do on your way down this side of Strangford Lock. Okay, speak to you in a bit. Hey dear folks, so uh, we're back again and uh, I couldn't do the islands of Strangford Lock without including Gibbs Island. Although we've done it a load of times on the channel before, I'll put some links up here. Had to do it again. As you can see, Christine's here and Rosie. And it's getting really dark. <laughs> and I think the sun's probably set already, so I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll try and get a bit of footage anyway, but yeah. Let's go and do Gibbs Island again. Good job you've got your wellies on there, Christine. I'm walking, I'm seeing the bubbles. Oh, careful though, you don't the bubbles will die in here. Whoa, you went a bit deep there. Did it go in a bit? No. stood in a big piece of kaipu and she thought it was a log so that's why she stood on it and then went right at it. <laughs> Did you Where is it? How are you finding your walk? Good. Is it good? Is it nice being out here? Yeah but I don't like going into that sticky muck. Yeah we'll just stay away from the sticky muck will we? Yeah. yourself stop it <laughs> <laughs> So we decided to go back just to have a little look inside the wood because Christine really wanted to see it. Oh, it's very muddy as well. Where was he? Don't fall in. I, I can see a welly coming off. <laughs> don't get lost in the woods. Hopefully they don't get lost. 
I'm not going in. I'm wearing my uh, rubbish uh, shoes today. So if you are coming to Gibbs Island, just be aware there's quite often there's cows on the island, so it's a good idea to keep the uh, dogs on the lead. I always keep Harvey on the lead around here. So uh, I think they've seen seen as much as they want to see of the woods, so I think we're heading back to the car here. Are you just coming back? Yep. Well, was it worth going in back in for well, Christine? Not for me, but <laughs> Just, you know, she just wanted to see. You wanted to test those cool wellies out. She wanted well. to test those cool wellies. Like, yeah. <laughs> right, let's go back. Okay. You can hold Harvey if you'd like. <laughs> this must have been a casualty of uh, of the recent storms. This was always a really nice tree to take yeah. pictures of. So it must have come down don't, during the storm. Eunice, I see if I've got a picture I can stick up of when it was when it was upright. Yay! We made it! Back at the car. Okay, that's us back at the car. So uh yeah, are your feet wet, Christine? Yeah. They are. So uh yeah, that's a bit of a short walk as well. That was uh, just about a mile and we, we did retrace our steps and in, back into the forest for a wee bit as well. So it's only about 35, 40 minutes. But another one that uh, you have to include if you're going to do all the islands around Strangford Lock. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure if this is uh, the last one on the video. I managed to find one more island just to stick on the end of this video. Uh, it's a wet Friday morning and I decided just to come out and have a quick drive around the bo bottom end of the lock because I'd had a check on the map. I've got a map of the whole area and I did notice this nature reserve here on what's it called? Castle Island and there's a, a bird hide here. So yeah, I've driven well, on the way down. There was loads of signs, every gate it was a, a farmer's sign saying private property, no access. So yeah, I don't think there's much of a walk here, but it was worth coming down just to, to see to see what was here anyway. So yeah, Harvey and I have already been up to St. Patrick's statue in Seoul this morning, so this is just a wee add-on for us. So we'll go and look, have a look what's at the hide here anyway. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not an ideal day for bird watching anyway, Harvey. One more look through this side. Actually, you'll probably get a better view over the top. I don't know what's down this road. There's another private property. But I'm guessing this road is still public uh, access. So I think it comes to a dead end. But we'll go and have a quick look at Strictly private members only. Which is a bit sad. You can get access to some of these wee bits here. That looks like it was a man made bit of bank there. Just over the other side, we've got Gibbs Island. But, uh, 
Yeah, it looks like a lot of the islands on Strangford Lock are privately owned. So, you have to have money to enjoy some of these places, unfortunately. Back in the car already, that's uh, just over half a mile, I think, probably maybe three quarters of a mile. But yeah, it didn't take very long at all. So yeah, turns out you can get onto a lot of the islands uh, around this side of the lock because they're all privately owned. But I sort of suspected that anyway. But uh, yeah, we got on a few, so, uh, so it, was, it was worth doing. But uh, yeah, that'll do for this video, I think. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I do regular walking videos like this one and occasionally juggling videos and other bits and pieces. So if you haven't done already, give us a wee thumbs up, subscribe and hopefully we'll catch you on another one. Okay, see you soon. Bye. And just one extra, extra island at the end here. Ring Haddy Road. Uh, there's a cruising club, I think, uh, you know, these boats that go on Strangford Lock. No access anywhere. Basically got to the end of this road and uh, that's as far as you can go. So don't, don't bother with this one. See ya. Cheers, bye. Say bye-bye, Christine. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>